Okay. Hi. Welcome to my Easy Songs for Beginners series. This is a super easy song that I really like to teach people. Generally, is their first song on chords, dealing with chords, because it only has two chords. It's called Horse Without a Name. And there are probably several other great videos on YouTube on how to play it. Uh, but I'm going to show you my way. And this is with the help of actually one of my friends and uh, another guitar teacher named Ronnie Nissenboim, who actually showed me this really super cool way. So here's your first chord. It's E minor, right? So you got open E, two on the A string, two on the G string, and then uh, your G, B, and high E are open. So zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. E minor. Check it out. I put the numbers shape on the bottom. Uh, and then here is your D6 slash F sharp. That's what I'm calling it. Sorry, I can't call it anything simpler. Two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero. I used to play it with my pinky up there, but Ronnie showed me you could just not use your pinky. So you do it from here, E minor, and just do a little split with your fingers, like you taught me, and go back, and like that. That's it. That's the whole song. Can you do it? So I'm going to sing a little bit of it. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have the lyrics <clears throat> with me, so I'm going to just kind of make up the lyrics if I forget them, but you could jam along to the track on YouTube or something, but right now just I'm, I invite you to jam along with me for a little bit. Ready? E minor. One, two, get ready, go. E minor. D6 slash up sharp. E minor. Now if you want to just play one strum like this for four beats. Strums like this. One strum, two strums, one strum, two strums, that's fine. If you can't see my fingers, don't worry. The main thing is just remember first E minor, then D6 slash F sharp. So you close, close the legs, then you do the split. I wish I could do a split, uh, but I'm not that flexible. Now I'm going to play a little bit more like the song. Quarter, 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 quarter. Just back and forth. It's the whole song. I mean, obviously the American version sounds a little more interesting than that, right? But if you just play these chords to the America recording, because the song is by a band called America, um, you're going to find that it works. And you can just sing the song using these chords and it will sound okay. Great song to jam to. Great song to jam with your friends. Okay, let's see if we can keep it up. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the light. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to get out of the rain. In the desert, you can't remember your name. Cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain. Keep going. Ba la 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 la. One strum per chord, that's fine for now. One strum, one strum. Okay, so now I'm going to take this opportunity to show you the way I really play it when I'm performing it, but it's not that different. 
is to take that same basic principle and instead of just down picking, uh, down strumming all the time, I put some upstrokes in there. And I'm not going to break it down in detail how I did it because it might be overwhelming. I just want you to just listen to it, just try to imitate it. That, that's how a lot of great rhythm guitarists learn. They didn't actually like, you know, break things down into detail on paper. They just listened, watched, listened, watched, tried, failed, tried again, and they got it, you know? So, so just check it out. It's not that difficult, although it might look a little bit complicated at first. This is how I normally play it. You could do one strum per measure, two strums, four strums, or you could spice it up and add upstrokes too if you're ready for that. So that's all for a horse with no name. What do you think? Is it really as easy as I say it say it is? Uh, do you find it to be difficult? Um, you have any other suggestions on great songs to get started with chords? I'd love to hear your ideas. So please, you know, fill up that comment section below. And if you like it, please click the like button, share with your friends, any other guitarists that you know who could benefit from this information. And have a great day!